So what you're seeing here is what we think as, as from a model, how reconnection works. This is a, a essentially a situation where we continuously pump a new energy here into this magnetic field, and then you see bursts of reconnection here, like that little one here, and a bigger one that it makes this big blob of hot gas eject, and then a new region forms, and it keeps going periodically, producing new uh, eruptions and new if heating and, and acceleration effects. Now what we, we do here, what I do specifically, I'm a, I'm a theorist and a modeler, so I, I design models like this, and I do a theory that uh, tries to predict what reconnection really looks like. But we don't know that for a fact. We, have, we think we have a pretty good idea, but we need to find out what it's really like. And for that, we have this mission called Magnetospheric Multiscale, which has four satellites, which we actually need to properly understand what's going on here, because one satellite may not be in the right place, it may not be, see only part of it, and that is not enough to understand the process, therefore we need four, and this mission provides us a unique opportunity to understand this fundamental process that powers so many uh, physically interesting and also important effects for our society. And, and therefore I'm really excited to do this, and I'm excited to show you this movie. This is what we think it's going to look like. In a few years we know whether it's really going to look like. Of course, I personally hope it will look like this, because this is what my model says, but we'll find out. Okay, so, so we need to have the spacecraft right here to understand what's going on here. Previous missions have seen what, what's out here, but that doesn't tell us the fundamental process that makes this eruption possible. And you see this eruption isn't steady, it's time dependent, as we uh, expect at least, and we know from, from observations down here. But we don't know why, we don't know the exact time dependence, we don't know the conditions uh, that uh, control this. Uh, we have model predictions, like I said, but we need really to understand this in nature. And the, the only way to do that in the whole universe, actually, is through a mission that flies in an orbit around the Earth, suitably designed for spacecraft in a tetrahedral type formation, which you place in a position around this region. And that gives us a a chance to understand this. Incidentally, this is also a mechanism which is important for fusion applications, where it can cause big disruption in tokamaks, or so, which we don't want to have because everyone have confinement, so we can heat the gas and, and perhaps uh, uh, design a fusion device. So it's a very fundamental process, and uh, uh, our mission is, is designed to let us understand how this works and then uh, put it to good use for ourselves and also enable us to predict harmful effects in space that are driven by by this mechanism.